What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to get developer tools in Microsoft Edge. So there's actually two ways of how to do this. The first way is you can go to the top right on settings and more and then go to more tools and go all the way to developer tools. And as you see, there's a uh, keyboard shortcut right next to it, control shift I. That is another way of how to do it. So there's actually three, but you can click here and boom, it's going to open the developer tools. But in my opinion, the simplest way is you can just right click on the web element you want. Like for example, let's do this button, Google search, and just go down and click inspect. Not only will this open the developer tools, but it's actually going to open the individual HTML element that this button is on the page. So if you know your HTML, you can actually modify this page to have it look like whatever you want. But just keep in mind that you modifying this page only changes what it looks like for you and it doesn't change what it looks like for anyone else. But you can actually use this to get around um, certain subscription based things that have pop ups or like subscribe here to be able to read the rest of this article. You can just get rid of that by completely getting rid of HTML stuff. But anyway, so if you want to change this button, you can just go on the value because this is an input class and just change it to whatever you want test. Now you can see this button is called test and you can just drag this up wherever you want in the HTML. You just have to realize what these divs of classes are and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, you can just drag it wherever you want. Now test is at the top of the page. <laughs> and yeah, you can edit this page to look however you want if you know what you're doing. But yeah, that's how you do this in Microsoft Edge. Fairly quick video today. I'm not going to get too in depth of how to use HTML and stuff because that is a whole different rabbit hole to go down. But anyways, that's how you do it in Edge. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.